Hey guys, it's the Cardist and welcome back. In today's deck review, I'm going to be reviewing the Bicycle Limited Edition Series 1. You may have seen the Limited Edition Series 2, the Blue Edition, but this is the Series 1. This is the first one, and then the second edition was the Blue. Uh, I'm not sure if there's going to be any other editions to this, but this is more of the um, the rarer one. Uh, they're a bit more expensive, can range from maybe £13, £6. It depends where you really go. Um, you can find them on eBay easily, uh, online as well. If you type in Google, you'll be able to find it. But let's get started in with this and let's have a look at the tuck case. So, first off, as you can see on the front, it has bicycle just on top there. And it has this woman on the front that has kind of this, as you can see, it's just like this, what you see on the back of the cards. And it has playing cards and it has limited edition series there. So, as you can see, it's just not, there's not a lot to it for the tuck of the case. It has gold for going round, by the way. It has air cushion finish. And then it has that little person you see on the front there. It has made in the USA with a gold ace of spades there. On the bottom it has some information there, some copyright information. And it has a barcode and it has the back design with a ten of hearts with the back design with one. And it has bicycle with a black USB-C seal with a gold line going around the outside. With the back design you can see it's just what you normally get with a bicycle back. Nothing too different with that. Then you get the bottom, uh, sorry, the top, and it has standard size, standard face, and it's just that's basically it for the tuck case. Nothing different to that at all. So let's move on to what you get inside the deck. So first off, you receive two advertisement cards that you're probably just used to by now with the USPCC. So you receive two advertisement cards that just promote their site and stuff, you know, print your own cards, limited edition series, playing cards, specialist designed. Uh, unique custom jokers available for a limited time collect all decks within the series. Each deck provides you with the same blah 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 blah. Okay? Then the back design for the deck is here. It has a nice white fin border, so it's not too thick, obviously. It's just a white border, so the whole back is white. Very simplistic look as well. You can see of the jokers in the corner is a mirrored back design, so if you flip it around, it's exactly the same. It has bicycle, bicycle, so this is one of my only decks really that have a bicycle written on the back design, so that's what I like, and it basically uses a lot of the concept that's on the normal rider back design there. So I've taken little segments to make this. Then you move on to the two jokers you get, and these are two custom ones it mentioned. You see this one, it has guaranteed, and it has series one on the joker, and it's a joker just leaning against, um, in its little joker outfit, leaning against a number one. And so basically that's just the custom jokers there. That's basically it. There's nothing to them apart from that. Then you get the Ace of Spades, and as you can see, it's just a standard bicycle 808 Ace of Spades. There's nothing different to it. It's just standard. It doesn't really pop at all. It's just normal. And then you go the whole way through the deck, and as you can see, it's just completely normal. And then you get to the Royalty, and the Royalty are just standard, you know, Jack, Queen, King. There is no differences to them at all. They are the original Royalty you get with a normal bicycle deck. And it continues, you know, it continues, you know, with the hearts as well. There's nothing different with those, just standard hearts. And it also it happens with the clubs as well. And also it happens with the diamonds. So it's just quite standard when it comes to that. So how is the handling of this deck? Okay, so the handling of this deck, first off, it does dribble really nicely. It dribbles nice as well. A spring of the deck. It springs really, you know, there's nothing wrong with the spring in the deck. It's very smooth and like kind of a slippery stock. Charlie cuts very nicely, no problems. Does that, goes from one hand to the other very easily, just to show you there. We can do a card production as well. As you can see, this deck has no problem actually doing many of the things that you want it to do because it's a bicycle stock, air cushion finish. As you can see, it does a colour change nice. When it comes to a fan, it does look nice with the thinner border, so it kind of gives that kind of like a sketchy look. And then also you can do a faro. Whoops. Uh, and as you can see, you can do a faro. Apart from I just couldn't for some reason there. And a giant fan. It looks all right. Not the best, and um, just because it's quite plain white. So there's not a lot of colour. There's nothing that's popping out. It's just plain white the whole way through. But other than that, it's a nice deck, it does fan, it does spread, and it's just an all-round nice little deck to have to your collection. If you have the blue edition, you should pick up the white one, just if you're a collector really, and other than that, you can use it for magic. Very simple deck, not too hard basically, it's a really, really nice one. Pick it up, make sure you give this video a big old like, just down there. Click subscribe, just up there, and check out previous video, just up there. Thanks so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.
Take a moment for yourself Get close with the lights down low You and 